Hey everyone, today we are back at the property on the Xbox One. Let's get off the computer and get on with today's projects. Last week we did find an old truck in a barn find and many of you guys did tell me what model it is. Let's head on outside here. It actually just got back from the repair shop. I brought this by a buddy's shop here to get a full once over, a full oil change, and a fluid flush here. So we're all ready to go. The mechanics of this truck are pretty good. Well this is actually a 1979 Ford F100. It's a pretty old truck, a little bit older than what I was thinking. But I really want to give it a quick wash. It looks to be in really good condition. I do want to do a lot of modifications to it even though it's old farm truck I want to keep it as original as possible I want it to look kind of sporty I do want to do new wheels on it maybe we could get a toolbox here in the beds maybe some other things like that but this is a pretty sweet truck here so let's come around here get the pressure washer go and the carter always uh, gives us a nice wash here and let's see how it looks now there is a full mods list up on my website if you guys like to go check it on out here. Now for the Xbox mods are a bit limited but we still have a lot of fun here with this series which is uh, pretty cool here. But the old farm truck, this old barn find is coming back to life here better than ever. And I think once I do a full detailed new coat of wax on this, this truck will look even better here. And I will have to say there isn't really much rust spots on it which is a really good thing for us because I really don't want to have to repair anything like that here. But every time I look at this truck this 1979 truck this thing looks really nice here but let's get on with a few things let's actually head back uh to the backyard and give you guys a few updates and i think charlie wants another bowl of food as we come around to the backyard, you guys, since we have a lot going on here, actually, we do need to get a new grill. This just stopped working. I was actually trying to make lunch here, making a few burgers and hot dogs, but we needed a new grill. It is always something here at the house that breaks. We had a roof break a few weeks ago. Now, it is a grill here, and I much prefer uh, cooking on the grill as well. But what I'm thinking, guys, is I want a pond in the backyard. So later on today, we are going to go see if we can rent some equipment to do that as well here, and uh, we should probably go check up on the horses as well look at that guys diesel always comes over here he eats a lot and i think uh we'll probably uh chase him around and get some exercise and he'll get some as well we have Charlie chasing us all over the yard now, which is also a lot of fun here. But back here at the horse uh, paddock here, we do have two horses. So far, they've been pretty good. I actually really want to see if we could kind of get them trained here to do jumps, things like that. I think that would be a pretty cool thing here for these videos. But you guys can see, just look at that. Looks like they're all kept. Looks like there's water in their uh, old uh, bathroom tub. It works, and it gets the job done, and it was pretty affordable there. But let's head on over to the garage because we got to get going. Uh, uh, we actually have a few new things coming for the Gator today. As many of you guys know, we did pick up a Gator a few weeks ago and I did order some new things here for it. A snow plower and a salt spreader because I do not want to be snow blowing this by hand. I don't want to be shoveling. Why don't we just use the equipment we have here? So we have to get the trailer, we have to get the Gator here and the truck because we got to have them mounted as well. We have to take the weights off, we have to take the back bed off, but it should work no problem. So let's get the truck and trailer. Now I hope everyone's been having a fantastic day so far here. Let me know how it is down below. My day's been pretty good. I've been a little busy with a few projects, working on a lot of things here, and I'm really excited for what's to come here. And we do have more Xbox coming. I definitely want to do a few more throughout the week, as many of you guys have been requesting, because these are a ton of fun, and I do uh, have a lot of plans, lots of ideas, and maybe even some multiplayer with some other farms, some YouTubers. That would be a lot of fun as well, but let's get these ramps down, and let's get this loaded on up here. But this John Deere Gator, I think, is one of my top favorite mods in Farm Sim for console. It is on both Xbox and uh, PlayStation, which is sweet. Look at this thing. Now, one thing, we actually got to disconnect the bed. Oh, yeah, look at that. With a touch of a button, that just disconnects there. Wow, that technology is pretty sweet. But let's get this loaded on up. Almost putting it through the tailgate there. A little bit too fast, but uh, let's head on over. Now, if you guys haven't already, go check me out over on Instagram. I am posting every single day over there some pretty exclusive content updates and sneak peeks behind the scenes here on the channel. Now, I do want to do a setup video soon along with a few other really cool videos. Definitely want to do more real life ones. Maybe uh, uh, when we do get some more snow, I could do some snow blowing as well here. Definitely a huge fan of just plowing in general. We don't get enough snow though. We do need snow. Hopefully, we get some snow here on the Xbox as well. But let's see. I already paid for. It. I would definitely want to go over the numbers with you guys as well because these are pretty expensive. Deer has some really, really expensive parts. 
Here they are guys, we have a snow plow here and a salt spreader. This will be coming in really handy and what I'm thinking is there's a local restaurant about a block away from us and we got the contract there. So not only is this going to be for fun, but we'll be making a little bit of side money with that little uh, side hustle we have here as well. I'm not sure how the weights are going to work on the front end of this. We might have to uh, take them off here, but let's put that on. Wow, that fits like... It was meant to be there. Wow, factory modifications like these. These options come in really handy. But let's see. Is this going to work? Oh, yes, it does. Looks like the weights automatically come off there. So that's pretty sweet. Look at this thing, guys. This thing looks sweet. Wow, look at that. You could go side to side. That is perfect. Exactly what we need uh, for pushing snow. Definitely work smarter, not harder. And a little bit of money. I think the plow was around, uh, I believe, 1500 And this was almost $2,000 here. But like it did touch upon, guys, we do have a few people and uh, even a few neighbors that will be helping out with plowing. Now, there is a lot more coming to the Homeowner series as well on the Xbox, but I do want to do just more Xbox content. This is a ton of fun for me. It's kind of a challenge to make pretty epic videos with very little mods, and many of you guys are console players as well, which is a pretty neat thing. But actually, let's get the Gator unloaded here, put it back in our shop, because we are going to go over and we are going to possibly rent an excavator, because like I touched on, guys, I want to build a pond in the backyard. I think that would be a ton of fun to do. We get to use some pretty heavy equipment but uh, we get to have some fish and uh, uh, just have a great time and we definitely need some soil to level out some other parts here so instead of buying soil we'll just dig a big hole we'll make a little pond and uh, and have a little bit of fun here but let's bring this on inside here really do like this a lot wow i'm definitely gonna have to teach one of the kids how to run this here that way uh we just sit inside watch them run it they have fun with it a uh, six by four gator is always fun to use here but let's hop back in the truck and uh, I think it's a local construction site that we have to go to here. Not exactly sure, but it's only a few miles up the road. We recently picked up this utility trailer here, which is a perfect fit. Now, definitely overloading the truck here today if we do end up renting this excavator. I saw it $1,000, I think, for a week and a half. I think that is a pretty fair deal here. It is a little bit older, but that's fine. I think even the older equipment is built better than the new ones nowadays here as well. And although I, I would much prefer to buy one of these, they're just way too much money. And we only get to use it maybe one or two times. Uh, so we'll just rent it here. So I will get all the paperwork done. I think he has a contract for me to sign and I'll give him the money and we'll be on the way. All right, just gave the $1,500. We have this for a week and a half here, so we could use this for a lot more. Maybe we could uh, dig some other projects. Maybe see if uh, once we are done, if we do have some time, see if the neighbors need any help. But let's get this loaded on up here. This is going to be a heavy, heavy load here. Not sure what's going to happen. Oh, we are just fitting on. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we just have to go about a mile up the road here. Let's see if we put the ramps up. We should be able to make it back. Yes, we will, guys. Hopefully, we don't take a power line out. Anything like that going down the road but this truck here just look at that guys she's squatting quite a lot here scraping the asphalt this is gonna be a nice slow ride back a little unrealistic but at times we just gotta have some fun and uh, we we can't always be too realistic and sometimes as well you just gotta make do with what you have we're slowly getting back on over here to the house. It's just staying on here, just uh, making it back here, which is perfect, guys. We only had to get back here. I don't think adding a few new stra uh, scratches to it is uh, too much of a bad thing here since uh, this is pretty scratched on up here. This, I would probably say, is a 30-year-old excavator, which is neat. But luckily, guys, it's a rental, and it looks like we didn't even put any scratches on it because the undercarriage is all scratched up here. But let's bring, bring this around back here. Let's get going on digging that pond. So this is my first time running an excavator here on the Xbox. Looks like the bucket does not have teeth. That might be a little bit of a problem. It's going to be a little bit more uh, kind of machine power here to kind of get down in the ground since it is pretty solid here. But let's be going on excavating. We have a lot of work to do here. We got to make this look as good as we can. And uh, we definitely only have a week and a half. It should have enough time, but let's just continue at it. We're making really good progress here, you guys can see we're already down a foot and a half here. We have to make a huge pile. Let's see if we could kind of level out a few pieces of land over there and maybe even uh, some over there here. But I think this is where we'll call it a day. Hope you guys enjoyed today's Xbox One Homeowner Series video. Lots more to come on the console and uh, just lots more to come in general. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.